Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to be showing how you can scrape GetLatka.com. For those of you who are unfamiliar, GetLatka is a great database where you can find a ton of companies that are in the SaaS sector, right? So if you are running any sort of B2B business and you want to sell your services to some sort of software company, then this is going to be one of the best ways for you to come and get information for the types of people that you want to target. But with that being said, let's just get right into it. Okay, so for those of you who are unfamiliar with the platform, right, how it works is there's a listing right here called SaaS, that, SaaS companies. And on this page, you have a bunch of different companies. Now, with the way that I'm going to show you to scrape, we're going to be getting the company name, the company website, and the industry. Now, you're not going to be able to get the decision makers contact information directly through here. Okay, what you're going to be able to do, though, is take the URLs that you're going to scrape from here and bring them over to another software like Apollo, for example, which I'm going to show you guys in this video and get the decision makers information from there. Okay. Now, the reason why we don't do it um, in the approach of getting the decision maker directly from GetLatka, although the email and everything is here, is because this is going to cost money. And the approach that I'm showing you doesn't require GetLatka subscription. It doesn't require anything. You're just simply scraping data that's publicly available on the internet and you're automating the way of doing it. Okay. And let's just get right into it. Now, internally in our agency, we actually have a program that does this for us, right? Uh, you can do something like hire a VA or use instant data scraper. Uh, but the way we do it is we have a custom program in the agency. Now I'm going to show you guys how that program works right now. And I want to kind of preface that with what I'm going to do right now is going to look a little bit technical. I promise you, like it really isn't, it looks a little fancy just because of like, I've been doing this for a while. Um, but it's really simple. Like once you get like sort of, you, you get your head around it. Okay. Now we have a couple of scrapers in here, which I've posted about all of these already. But if any of you are interested, you can go take a look and get lock is the one I'm going to be showing you guys today. So. I'm on Mac. Um, the way that you interact with Mac's terminal is you just use the terminal app. Uh, if you are on Windows, then you just have CMD, right? That's what it's called. Like if you press the Windows button and you type in CMD and click enter, you'll see something like this on your screen. Uh, this is obviously possible on any operating system. I'm just showing you guys how to do it on Mac. Okay. All we do is we do CD and then we enter this folder. Uh, CD is basically just a way to enter a certain directory and then use the directory in your console. Okay. Super simple stuff. It's not as complicated as it seems. Now, once it's open, all we do is npm start. And what that's going to do is it's going to launch the program, right? Now, it's custom code. It's open source. So, you know, you can take a look at the code and that's kind of how it looks. And all it's asking you is enter a certain quantity of pages. Now, what this means is it's going to ask you how much you want to scrape, like how many pages that you want to scrape. Now, typically, whenever we scrape get Lodka, we'll just scrape all the pages. And I believe there's around 900 of them or 1900 of them. And I think it's like 1875 or it's something nearby. 1873, maybe. Let me see. It's something around here in terms of the amount of listings that are on here. That's weird. Okay, yeah. So it's like it's like 1820 or something. It's like a certain amount of pages. You can figure it out by just kind of playing around with it just to see. Yeah, it's like around here, right? So if you if you wanted to scrape the entire database, all you would have to do is for that input. You just have to enter that you're looking for 1,814 pages and that would go through every single page and it would scrape it for you. Okay. Now, just for the sake of the video, I'm only going to scrape the first hundred pages just so you guys can see it working. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up the text output. This is where it's going to output the links just so you guys can see. So it's empty right now and we're going to take our program and you guys don't need visual studio code to see this. I'm just, I have it installed. So it's like a, like a prettier version of notepad. And I'm just going to say that I want to scrape a hundred pages. Now, when you click enter, what this program is going to do is it's actually going to go on get Latka and start scraping for you. And you can see that these leads are being added to the spreadsheet or to the CSV file automatically right now. Right. And as it's going, it's going to go through every single one of these and basically get its link. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to pause this video real quick. I'm going to let this scrape because this is going to go on for a couple minutes. And then once it's done, I'm going to come back and I'll show you guys how that looks. Okay, so it just finished up. It's only been a minute or two since I've I finished it. And you can see that we've successfully scraped uh, about 1900 leads, which isn't bad in a couple of minutes. Okay, now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys, is we're just gonna open up a Google spreadsheet, which is like the same thing as Excel, it's just hosted online. And we're gonna open up that CSV file, and I'm gonna show you guys how that looks and what I would do from with this moving forward. Right now, I'm gonna copy this, put it in here, delete this stuff, 
take it over here and you guys can see we have the websites and then we have the industries. Now these industries are like categories on clutch, meaning if you want to do segmentation where you're only you know, messaging, for example, e-commerce software, or you're only messaging CRM companies, you can do that. And what I would do is just copy this and simply come here, create a filter, and then just sort by A to Z. And what that's gonna do for you is it's just gonna give you all of the agriculture software, uh, all of the analytics software, and you can just click on any one of these, like convertgroup.com, for example, right? And you'll be able to see the way big retailers and brands collaborate through data. And this is obviously an analytic company and you can see all the different categories. Now, this is only about 2000 leads, but as you can imagine, if you were to go and you were to put in all the pages, you would have like 20, 30, 40,000, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna open up uh, Apollo and I'm gonna show you guys how to get this decision makers information. We'll be right back. Okay, so now that we have Apollo pulled, pulled up, I'm gonna show you guys what I would do from here. Now, it's super simple. You would literally just come here copy all of these different URLs, which I can actually just do by clicking the header and you would open up Apollo and you would just go to search and you could come into companies, include and exclude, put that list of companies in, click save and search. And all of a sudden I just found 216,000 people that work at those companies. Now, obviously thrown into this bunch are a lot of very big companies. Like if I go to employee can, you'll see that there is some companies that have 10,000 plus employees. Now, most of you guys aren't going to be selling to like enterprise companies like that. So what you can do is just select like the first four employee counts, which is one to 10 to or one to 100 employees. And you can see that these are real software companies, which could be potential prospects for whatever you are selling. Right. Uh, and you can see the decision maker here for this person's from surf, for example. So surf the enterprise giveaway platform. Right. So this is a software that helps you do giveaways and you can just come over here, click access email for, you know, our good friend Swish and immediately, boom, swishjoinsurf.com. And then you can use this in order to get their actual contact information. Okay. Now from those 2K or so companies, there's 25,000 decision makers or 25,000 employees. Then you can obviously filter based on decision makers. You can filter by the status of their email and a bunch of other factors, but that's kind of how it would look. Now, for those of you who know, I actually had another video where I showed how to scrape Apollo. Uh, that isn't really working as well as it used to because I, I believe it got patched, but I'm going to be dropping a new video soon where I'm showing you guys how to scrape Apollo because Apollo on its own is actually pretty expensive. Okay. But that's kind of how that looks. Now, if you do want access to this script and you want access to a bunch of other scrapers, we actually have a paid community. It's not anything crazy. It's $49 a month. It's called lead Academy in here. We share a ton of different scrapers, this one, including a crunch base scraper, a clutch scraper, a ton of other platforms. We have weekly calls access to, and you get access to our agency sales calls, real onboarding calls, offer creation, help with cold email, cold email deliverability, response handling, landing pages of VSLs. You get help making legal contracts and so much other stuff. So if this is something that you want to do and you don't want to bother hiring a VA for this, or you don't want to bother going and trying to get the software built for yourself, you can just join Lead Academy. It's going to be the first link in the description. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. This is a small channel, so I honestly notice every single person. And with that being said, let's go from there. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.